वेलकम टू साउथ फर्स्ट एम शिल्पा नायर एंड वी आर ब्रिंगिंग टू यू अ ग्राउंड रिपोर्ट ऑन द स्टॉप वाटर ड्रेन प्रोजेक्ट एक्सिक्यूटेड बाय द ग्रेटर चेन्नई कॉर्पोरेशन वी आर करेंटली रिपोर्टिंग फ्रॉम टी नगर व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द बिजीएस्ट एरियाज इन द सिटी एंड दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द वर्स्ट अफेक्टेड एरियाज इन नवंबर एंड दिसंबर लास्ट ईयर व्हेन इनसिसेंट रेन्स पाउंडेड चेन्नई एंड देयर वाज मैसिव वाटर स्टैग्नेशन एंड फ्लडिंग इन एंड अराउंड दिस एरिया एंड दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई द चेन्नई कॉर्पोरेशन इज नाउ अंडरटेकिंग द स्टॉम वाटर ड्रेन प्रोजेक्ट ऑन अ वॉर फुटिंग बेसिस हियर इन टी नगर एंड इट्स नॉट जस्ट इन टी नगर बट सेवरल अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द सिटी रोड्स हैव बीन डग अप बाय द चेन्नई कॉर्पोरेशन टू ले न्यू स्टॉम वाटर ड्रेन्स और इंप्रूव ऑन द एग्जिस्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स बिकॉज़ दे सिंपली डू नॉट वांट टू रिपीट ऑफ व्हाट हैपेंड लास्ट ईयर बिकॉज़ सेवरल पार्ट्स ऑफ द सिटी वर कंप्लीटली इनंडेटेड एंड इट टुक देम सेवरल आवर्स और सेवरल डेज to pump out water and for life to get back to normal and that is the reason why chennai corporation is undertaking a lot of effort this time around to mitigate the effects of flood and uh, that is the reason why storm water drains such as these are being laid across the city uh, uh, but of course it has been causing a lot of inconvenience for the general public for example every time a road is uh, dug up you know it becomes narrower and that of course creates a lot of issues for the commuters to ply on the road it creates traffic issues but apart from that even for residents even for business enterprises it's been causing a lot of problems for example this entire stretch of road this is an otherwise a very busy road this entire stretch of road has now been blocked and you can see there are several business establishments along this road but now because of uh, you know the work that is going on uh, the accessibility to those business enterprises have been completely cut off and their businesses of course uh, you know is now suffering so there are so many such issues that have cropped up and apart from that there are also reports that sometimes you know when they dig up the road it uh, disrupts the power line it disrupts the water supply it disrupts other cables and that again is causing a lot of inconvenience to the public uh, there are also concerns raised by activists and experts about certain structural flaws in the storm water drain project uh, uh, the role of certain contractors etc but all that aside you know when you speak to people they say yes it is causing a lot of issues but they are ready to put up with it uh if, if this is if this can become a, a permanent solution for the flood issues for the water stagnation in this area and other parts as well so they say yes uh, there are problems but if this is going to be a solution then they are ready to put up with it but the big question is will this actually work will this actually get over before the onset of monsoon and what is it that the tamil nadu government is doing differently this time to make sure that the current storm water drain system it works so these are some of the big questions since and before we get these questions answered for you here's a quick check of the ground reality from other parts of the city since it be raised in the beginning of this video joining me is gagandeep singh bedi ias the chennai corporation commissioner a very seasoned bureaucrat and someone who's constantly monitoring the storm water drain project uh, so the talk of the town or rather everyone on social media or otherwise they all talk about the storm water drain project because most of the the city it's dug up for the project and the big question that all of them are raising is will this get over by the time monsoon kick starts uh what do you have to say about that okay my answer is that uh, of course the uh, digging up is only uh, i'll say about uh, one fourth is only from storm water drain projects mm. uh there is a lot of uh, work of uh, metro rail project is going on metro water also mm. uh, sewage projects do uh, get undertaken in the metropolitan cities and also the electricity board the danjerko digging is also there so not i am not the i am not the villain for all the digging around there yes. i am i am only a part contributor to this but you see every city uh, which is developing uh, and on its path to development has to undergo some some such uh, uh, unpleasant uh, temporary uh, developmental issues like digging up etc for the overall good mm. so that's why it is going on and i i must say that the uh, the the overall storm water project is actually in three phases mm. the core city and the north and south of uh, the chennai the north and south chennai projects are all long term projects and these projects are uh, um, for about 2 to 3 years period and of course 
they are going on as per the scheduled progress. In the North Chennai, it is the Asian Development Bank project, which is being undertaken at a cost of rupees 3,200 crores in Chennai. Uh, that is going on as per schedule, rather ahead of schedule. Mm. But that will get over in 2024. Mm. Uh, the South uh, Chennai project is being uh, taken up, that's called Kovalam project, mm. which is being taken up in Adipakam and other years, which will uh, which has been recently awarded and it will take about two years period. That's also going on okay. Mm. The core city projects mm. are the ones which we are actually concerned about of finishing this year. This year. So, the projects are progressing well uh, within the existing areas, this congested city. Mm. And we have planned to finish about 80% of the projects, the main roads which used to get inundated. Dated before the onset of monsoons, Monsoon. they are progressing as per schedule. Mm. But yes, the remaining 20% thus by lanes and other side drains etc. We will take them up after the monsoons Monsoon. because you we cannot have the entire city, city yeah. getting dug up before the monsoon. We want to finish off all this digging up, cover the drains and then wait for the monsoons to take up the side lanes and by lanes and other less important areas but which are also prone to inundation because we had got almost 12 months uh, work and which we are trying to do in five to six, six months, months period. And even the last government, they had laid uh, a lot of stormwater drain, uh, you know, but clearly it didn't work because in, the, in November, December last year, we saw the entire city flooding once again. So what are you doing differently this time? No. See, first of all, it's everybody adds to the infrastructure. Hmm. So uh, we can't say nothing works. Everything works. But the cities get expanded. Mm. Now, if today it rains very heavily, do you think that cities in America don't get flooded? You have got pictures of America, uh, Washington DC, subways and all getting flooded. Yeah. Cities in Europe getting flooded. Our own capital uh, city getting flooded. Bombay getting flooded. City, every every year, mm. the, the city corporations keep on adding to infrastructure. Mm. That infrastructure is useful, but as the cities expand, we need further infrastructure. Mm. So, what we are trying to do now is, in this year, the different thing you asked is, mm. yes, uh, the government at present is very particular about planning for the future. Mm. So, uh, I, uh, we are focusing on, on about 1000 crore rupees allocated by government of Tamil Nadu mm. for uh, current core city. In the core city, the existing drains were all uh, built many years back which catered to then population, then infrastructure. Mm. Now, uh, the, the drain size in most of those cases is being made threefold. Mm. So, a 2 feet into 2 feet drain is being uh, changed to a 5 feet into 5 feet drain in terms of length and breadth. Mm. So, so, we are increasing the width of all those drains, especially in those areas where yeah. the existing drains were not sufficient. So, that's the difference. Mm. We are actually increasing the capacity of the drains because last year we found that the rainfall level was unprecedented. Last 140 years, the northeast monsoon was not as much as was last, last year. year. So, yeah. using that as a parameter, we are expanding the drain size in order to ensure that if that much of rain comes, we this, should be able this to sort work. of inundation should not happen, that has happened. So, we have seen how the Chief Minister is extremely keen about the stormwater drain project. He's uh, inspected it multiple times. You are also someone who inspects it uh, very regularly. Uh, there was also a committee that was formed under retired IAS officer Thirupugar. Uh, what are the recommendations that he has given and how has the government tried to implement those recommendations? Uh, I must say that uh, the government uh, of Tamil Nadu with our present Chief Minister, uh, he has given a lot of focus on stormwater drain. and. We are uh, very fortunate that we got this uh, Mr. Tirupugal committee's recommendation. Tirupugal, uh, Mr. Tirupugal, he is a retired IAS officer who was the advisor in National Disaster Management Authority. A very, uh, uh, a very sharp officer with an acumen for all the disaster management. And he along with his team of experts from IIT Madras and uh, uh, the economists and weather experts sector, they have given a lot of recommendations. They have actually also recommendation, recommended uh, what areas inside Chennai to focus on, what are the latest technology options that we can opt for, uh, things like going for sponge parks, water harvesting structures, uh, going for um, a lot of uh, silt catch pits etc. So, uh, they, they have both given both geographic 
oriented as well as technology oriented suggestions mm. and the most important thing is they have recommended to the government that yes chennai corporation needs to be focused for storm water drain funding mm. so because of their recommendations the government has been kind enough to give us funds as we had asked for and uh, we are doing we are trying to live up to the expectations of the government and also trying to use the tirupugal committee recommendations as far as possible in our implementation exercise uh, and there are also some concerns that have been raised about the structural design for example in certain areas the residents say that the storm water has been constructed a little higher than the road uh, again the soil texture so how have you ensured that you know the storm water drain is uh, sort of customized according to the local topography yeah it's like this that uh, uh the the drains are actually uh, not constructed just by making sketches on the paper the levels are taken by the consultants thereafter the designs are uh, built this time what we have done is all the major drains not the small ones one drain one drain one road two road uh, drains but the major drains which were built on micro shed basis we have got all of them vetted by iit madras which run the Uh, which had uh, used the computer simulation models to see in how much time with this sort of rainfall the water will get evacuated so a lot of scientific exercise has been undertaken to uh, ensure that the technology doesn't fail uh, but you know nothing is perfect mm. we will see based on the rains this time how how good Uh, it has been based on the shortcomings we will try to improve in this regard yeah. but at the same time one specific somebody says that a drain is a is at higher. a higher level than the road mm. it's the drain the water doesn't go into the uh, storm water drain from the rooftop it goes to the side that is called tube pipes yeah. there's a side pipe which drains the water inside sometimes the level of the drain also coincides with the foot foot path which mm. might be at a higher level than the road so one should not just go by the visual observations and inside the drain also uh, you know the level inside the base can be the road may be straight but inside the level of the drain may be higher on one side lower on the other side the water flows accordingly mm. the road may be going may be going higher from east to west but the drain water might be inside the base might be built so that the water goes from west to east mm. so there are all Permutation and combination is possible, mm. and our civil engineers are on the job. I have faith on my civil engineers. Of course, everybody is also not perfect. I and you are all also not perfect. If there are any improvements to be done, we will actually do so based on the actual field experience. Last two questions. Uh, apart from the tra- traffic uh, jam, you know, you know that is being caused due to the project. The other problem that many people face is how the uh, electric cables that get disrupted. The other the water supply connection. or the sewage line what are you take like what are the steps that you're taking to make sure that there is better coordination yeah. to make sure that people are not inconvenienced uh, we have had a number of meetings uh, uh, with the at the zonal level uh, of uh, gcc corporation uh, the tangentco the electricity people the metro water people and uh, even the fiber optics people so that wherever the digging is being done by the corporation the others also know and they also inform us beforehand that over there the pipe or their wire is going we have tried to ensure that this sort of disruption of other uh, departmental facilities are the least mm. so but so, there are some time that the departmental people also though they know that their wire electricity mm. their wire goes from in this road but exact location is not known to the local people mm. because of which there are sometimes some disruptions but we are trying to minimize it and there is a constant interaction at higher as well as lower and middle levels also in order to ensure that such inconveniences are reduced as far as possible you know when you speak to people they say yes it's causing a lot of inconvenience but at least the government is trying to do something and if it works then nothing like it so how confident are you that these measures that the chennai corporation is undertaking now uh, do you think this will bear fruits it will definitely bear fruits the the pain which were we were having last year hmm. that sort of pain will be mitigated much to a big extent hmm. but i will not say that it will be 100% Percent. full proof hmm. there will be water inundation at various locations because city is expanding yeah. the uh, the construction works keeps on happening in in new areas as well as the existing areas 
there may be imperfections there may be new places where waters may, may stagnate but our efforts are there that the pain points yeah. are no longer the pain points over there if the water inundation is there earlier for two days now the water inundation in my opinion will be there for two hours or three hours yeah. or four hours that's what we are trying to do so yeah. I will never because I am. I am always. Uh, uh, I always have a firm belief that unless we have actually worked it out, we should not promise, promise anything. anything. <laughs> we are working it out mm. to and in order to ensure that we do our best. But uh, uh, the the actual field experience during the rainy season will will show how good we have done. There will be imperfections, but I feel that there will be there will be much more relief to the people. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you. So that was, of course, Gagandeep Singh Bedi, IA, speaking to South West and saying that that they're extremely optimistic that the current stormwater drain projects will at least mitigate uh, the flood uh, effects uh, this time around, and they're working overtime to make sure that the projects get over at least in the core city areas before the onset of monsoon. In Chennai, this is Shilpa Nayar for South West.